For this example, we're looking at when the Kindle came out. And so when the Kindle came out, it was just an e-reader. And it was like the whole new thing, like take a Kindle on vacation rather than carrying around all these heavy books and that sort of thing. Now Amazon has the Kindle Fire and it's just like a tablet. Um, and it's so much cheaper. I think this past year at Christmas, they were like 50 some dollars instead of these huge prices that we see here. And that's often the way with technology that the price comes down to a more reasonable level after it's been out for a bit. But here we have um, time in months since February 2009 when this was launched and we have the price and we know that the first column is always our X so time is our X and the second column is always our Y so price is our Y value and we're asked to create a linear model so we know we want to create a Y equals MX plus B. So I need to know slope and I need to know starting price. And thankfully they gave me year zero or month zero. So right here, I know this is the start. And so my starting price right here, this is my B value. So that's really helpful. They do not, however, give me the slope. So I do have to do some work for that. So M is Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. And so plugging in numbers, my second Y value is 299. My first one is 349. My second X value is five. My first one is zero. So I do the math and I get negative 50 divided by five, which would come out to negative 10. If I look at the labels up here, this is going down by $10 each month at the beginning of having the Kindle. So then I put those numbers into my formula. So y equals negative 10x plus the starting price of $349. Secondly, they asked me to use my equation to make a prediction. And so what does your model predict for the price in 2011? And that is 24 months. And so that's really the key because our Time is going by months here. So I put y equals negative 10x, well not x, but 10 times 24, 4x, plus 349. Do this math on my calculator. And so I get y equals $109. And so we see in just two years, the price of this technology came down from the $349 price tag to just $109, so much more reasonable. And many of you have experienced that when a new generation of a phone comes out, it's super expensive. And then a year or two later, when it's not the new, newest thing, it's much more affordable.